Hi, hello. This is a house that I can't remember the name of. It's called something like Wesley or Wellesley Place Road or whatever. It has two bedrooms and one bathroom. It costs 64,000 simoleons and I originally had it in mind as a holiday home in Granite Falls. But as I was thinking it through, I decided to actually build it in Willow Creek because I wanted to make it quite modern, still very cozy but modern and kind of minimalistic and I couldn't really see that type of house among the rustic ones that are in Granite Falls but you can obviously place it in whichever world you would like. Anyway, since this is a smaller build which means a short video, I actually would like to manage to do a full voiceover for once. I only managed to do that once and that was the My Sims Self video and that was only like 3 minutes. By the way, go watch it if you haven't. I'll link it in the description or the info box in the right top corner or whatever it's called. I apparently can't remember names of anything today. What was I talking about? <laughs> yeah, I was hoping to do a full voiceover, but I have nothing to talk about. So I'm gonna ramble a bit more and until I get sick of myself and then decide to end it. A thing happened today. We had to sign into our courses for the semester and we have subjects that we just get assigned and then we have we have subjects that are mandatory and then we have subjects to choose from and we like have to choose a couple okay so i googled it in english it's apparently called required optional course and we get like a couple of them and you have to pick however many you are required to and this semester we have to take one same as the last one yeah and we could pick between criminal law and youth subcultures of britain music fashion and social exchange Sounds fun, right? The law being at being a 9 a.m. class on a Monday, which oh my god, and the youth culture thing is on a Thursday from like half past five and ends at like seven. Both of these times are honestly so bad. So, and well, I went with the criminal law because I just thought it would be more useful to me in future. And you can still take the subculture as an like an extracurricular subject or however you pronounce it. Not gonna lie though, I'm kind of thinking about it because it does sound pretty interesting, but at the same time, it just the time is so bad. I don't know, and like I can't imagine the exam in it. Like you pick a question such as what music does the youth listen to or what clothing retailer does the youth shop at the most i don't know like i honestly can't imagine doing the exam in it but i'm gonna text my friends and see if someone will take it with me and based on that i'll decide whether to take it or not anyway still talking about school i have one more month before it's back to school for me and i'm slowly starting to freak out like right now i'm in the mind space of I need new clothes and I've also been buying a lot of face masks hoping to become the girl who puts on a face mask and sits in a large bubble bath and for hours and not that I'm gonna buy a bloody large bathroom though they're so freaking expensive I don't know how how they are in other countries but here for the price of one large bath bomb you can get like a pretty decent meal and I'm definitely choosing food okay well, that's the school part of my voiceover covered. I always make bullet points for the things I want to talk about in each video and pretty much every single one of them has school, weather and complaining about struggling with the build. Since I didn't really struggle with the build this time, as well, I mean it's pretty small what is there to struggle with, but I've noticed that lately I have been putting garages to every one of my builds because they usually allow me to have more space upstairs and frankly when I play in a house with a garage it's kind of annoying and it's a waste of space so I've been trying to put some skill activities in them like right now the family I play with 
they have a garage in their house and I basically basically made it into a greenhouse because there isn't there isn't enough space for one in the garden so I just put, I just put the flowers and plants into the garage yeah but after this build there is one more that I know is gonna have a garage or I think it will and after that I'm gonna try to stop for the weather part it is still very miserable it it honestly barely stopped raining for the past like four days and on a Saturday we were meant to go out and it was raining pretty much all day it stopped till in like the evening for a bit and okay you need a backstory for this brace yourselves so every year the town I live in has like this weekend event which is like an anniversary of establishing the town or whatever and there, are, there is like a fun fair with carousels and rides and a bunch of overpriced crappy food, concerts, fireworks and meet and greet with the town ice hockey team which I've actually never been to even though I'm a big ice hockey fan. So me and my family went there for the last two concerts and the fireworks at the end and we were watching Susie Quattro's performance because my mom wanted to see her and I looked over to my left and there was standing the freaking owner of our ice hockey team who's he's also a very famous hockey player Jeremy Jagger if it rings a bell to anyone he played in NHL for a pretty long time you might know him and he was standing there with his girlfriend and I felt so awkward to go and say hi plus he's like a god in our town so I figured he must be sick of all the people bothering him especially since this is like an event that half the town comes to and yeah it just felt too awkward and I didn't I genuinely didn't want to disturb him especially since he was there with his girlfriend so I just smiled at him when we when we walked past and yeah what an anticlimactic end to the story but actually that was not the first time seeing him I bump into him quite a lot since this is a small town, like you get to see him pretty often or more often than no other celebrities, I don't know. But every time I did actually bump into him, I never want to bother him. So maybe, maybe one day I'm going to grow the balls and actually uh, come up to him and ask him for a picture and talk to him for a bit. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> if I do, I'll let you know. Well, with the usual topics covered and the speed build coming to an end, I'm gonna wrap this up. Hope you enjoyed the speed build. If you did, hit the like button, definitely click the subscribe button, give me feedback in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.